Nerd alert. You guys are all nerds. Yeah, son's acting weird. I'm acting weird. You're acting weird. Everybody's acting weird. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Comet of the Century adventure. I'm your host, Thor. Thor News. So let's get this wild and strange party started. Alright, y'all, it's crazy. That comet I was talking about six months. I'm telling y'all, hey, watch this comet. It's gonna be a cool comet. I can tell. Because I'm using the force, because yes, I'm a Jedi. I don't know if you know this. I worked on a feature film, side by side, with the guy who directed Empire Strikes Back. Let me move away from that non sequitur to give you some hard science. Well, actually, there's not a lot of hard science in this. Just talking about the comet Catalina. Comet US 10 Catalina is already creating some beautiful images. And soon, it might be visible to the naked eye. That is wonderful. And you know, one reason I love this comet, because when scientists first found it, they were like, oh my god, it is giant asteroid, 30 miles in size, and it's got a six-year orbit. It's a centaur. You know, like those centaurs, they said that come around and kill everything on the planet every 40 to 100,000 years. Yeah, scientists were just talking about that. I'm covering it in one of my next videos. It'll be a real uplifting family video, you know? Oh yeah, and science was like, oh yeah, I remember when we said it was giant and it had a six-year orbit? We slightly recalculated, and we found out that it was tiny, and it has a one million year orbit. So it's like, I don't know what you guys are smoking, but uh, I hope you're not driving. So yeah, Comet Catalina. Hopefully, you can see it. At the moment, it's near Arcturus. Yeah, so just kind of look kind of north of Arcturus. See if you can find it. I'll go look on the Canadian France Hawaii telescope. So now I got to fill in a bunch of filler here, because there's not much I can say other than this is a really cool comet. Unfortunately, it doesn't get close enough to Earth that we get a bunch of really kick-ass fear-mongering YouTube videos that say everybody's gonna die or alien spaceships are coming to harvest our organs or our gold and our oil. When and where should I begin to look? Oh crap! Awesome! They have some words and stuff I can read so I don't have to just do filler. Dumb crap. The comet has been in our pre-dawn sky throughout the past month. It's like a morning star. Its brightness has been pretty steady. As the new year begins, it will gradually become a night sky object. The comet was closest to the sun, perihelion, November 15th. So it is moving away from the sun now, but it's still drawing closer to the Earth. Excellent. On January 17th, 2016, Comet Catalina will be at its closest point to Earth, about some 68 million miles away. But that's just a rock skip and a jump in celestial terms. That's in contrast to the moon's distance, about a quarter million miles. Whatever, man. Math's stupid. If you ever hear anybody trying to use math, just get up in their face. And if you have a bullhorn, be sure and use that and just go, you're stupid. We wouldn't have like 99% of the problems on Earth right now if we didn't have any math. You realize that, right? Asterisk, all that stuff. <sighs> Pictures are cool, right? That I'm showing you. The fact that I said five months ago before anybody was saying this comment's going to be awesome, I was like, hey, this comment's going to be awesome. So give me points for that. But hey, go ahead and down thumbs in. I know it gives you a boner and then confetti flies out of your individual pleasure receptacators or whatever and you know what's weird is i imagine that 95 percent of all trolls are men you know yeah i'm sure women waste time on dumb shit too but i don't think it's trolling you know what i'm saying i don't want to offend the boob trollers troll boobers i don't know what that is but i should definitely make something that's a troll boob and then troll boobers and then put it up on my i sell shit page man if i want to make 20 million dollars like alex jones i need to come up with some type of chemical that i can sell you that you will take and if, and if a nuclear war happens you will live or if a nuclear war happens and you die it's not like you're gonna come get me and ask for your money back or something all right this video is gonna get me fired by all reports comma catalina has never risen above magnitude six which is the limit of visibility to the naked eye but it has hovered just above that limit the moon was full on christmas meaning that light was flooding the sky so that what will comet catalina look like well if we've learned anything it'll either look like some weird giant space demigod or a spaceship. It definitely won't look anything like a dirty snowball. Comets are like alien cats. You never know what they're going to do next, except lick something, eat something, and give you dirty looks. If you ever come across a black alien dirty snowball cat, do not cross its path. And here's what's great. Like, it's January 3rd, it's January 4th. And I'm already getting all of my worst videos out of the way, so we can just... Prep the way for nothing but pure awesome. Hey NASA, if you like it and you want it, put the hubble on it. Nah, just kidding. I think just take crappy photos of comets anyways. Telescopes will provide a better view. 
even while observing visually with a telescope, you will not see the green color of the comet, which represents what the crap is that shit. And remember, because that green sometimes, which represents a cinnogen, the main ingredients for cyanide. But remember, comets don't kill you. Comet pills kill you. This bizarre message brought to you by the Philip Plate Conservation for Government Fixing Climate Change, or whatever. Man, I hope my sense of humor comes back. Comet cameras are more sensitive than the human eye. That's a stupid sentence, man. My eyeballs are really sensitive. Like, even if a tiny little piece of dirt gets in it, I'm like, ow! And I start blinking like crazy. And, you know, like, I don't know. I can flick my camera a million times and it doesn't even move. Yeah. So, saying that, like, cameras are more sensitive than eyeballs? Like, jeez, man. No wonder you don't ever get to make out with any chicks, dude. You should try some interacting with human beings. Wait a second. The sun's been going crazy. People have been going crazy. Like, a lot of people have been being assholes lately. So maybe, maybe you're doing fine. You know, who am I to judge? But visual observers using telescopes in December 2015 might be able to glimpse a hint of Comet Catalina's green coma or cometary atmosphere. And by the way, the green color we see in comets is from gases like diatomic carbon. Ah, uh, cinogen, bro. Totally cinogen. I did all my research. I said, cinogen, bro. I didn't see no diatomic. I mean, you're not wrong. You're just not 100% right. You know what I'm saying? But neither am I. Neither is anybody. Nobody's ever right all the time. It was discovered October 31st, 2013. So yes, it is an evil comet. But evil is relative and subjective. So yeah, just kind of look near Arcturus for now. And I'll try and do another less just got off vacation video. When is the next predicted comet visible to the eye alone? The next predicted comet that will reach visibility to the unaided eye and be really easy to spot is Comet 46P returning in. It will appear as a sky gift for Christmas of 2018. I didn't know that. I never heard that before. Interesting. I smell another video coming up about another comet. And that is Comet Wertenen. Sweet. Although Comet 46P may show a magnitude of 3 or 4, there is always the possibility that a newly found comet will provide a good celestial show prior to that time. Hey, yeah, especially if like 100,000 centaur comets the size with 30 mile nucleus zip past Earth and smash into it, then. Like, like scientists said last week. I didn't say that. I'm not fear mongering. They said it. They said it's a possibility. They, 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 they said it would definitely wouldn't happen this week or this month. But they didn't give a date. They just said, any time between now and 40,000 to 100,000 years. It's all relative. Was this video good? It's all relative. Did you enjoy it? I have no clue, dude. I can't read your mind. I'm awesome, but you want mind reading. You, you need to ask my girlfriend. If I mention I have the best girlfriend in the universe, even if it occasionally leads to intoxication. What? Man. I'm talking about comets. Why are you going on about alcoholics and shit? Global warming has caused more alcoholism in society, a new study released by scientists at the University of Michigan says. Now that is hilarious. Oh, look at Science Boy here saying, A tale of two tales. Actually, I think it has three tales. There's nothing better than when astronomers write poetry. Nerd alert. You guys are all nerds. It's okay. I'm king of the geeks, the dorks, and the nerds. And my rule is passive. So be cool, stay cool. God bless everybody, and I apologize for this video.